all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to code signal, working the Python coding exercises. Join this in the middle of the playlist. I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the arcade, going to Python. And then we were in the section here, caravan of collections. Number 43, startup name. Uh, you decided to found your own startup company and now want to choose a proper name for it. There are three large companies that you want to compete against, and since their names are quite popular, you want to use their names as a starting point. You want to use only popular characters in the name of your company, but not too mainstream. You consider a character to be popular if it appears in at least two company names, and consider it to be mainstream if it appears in all three. Given the names of the companies, return a list of characters that are popular but not mainstream sorted by their ASCII codes. Uh, so here's the example. So you have company names, cool name, nice company, and legendary company. Uh, so you would output the letters E and L because E and L are common uh, to two of these, but not all three. So you can see E is common to nice company and legendary, but not cool company. And L is common to cool company and legendary company, but not nice company. Okay. So how would you do that with code? So they've already set up some code for you here. They define the function startup name with the argument companies. And then they set up three sets. So they're creating a set for each company. Um, so they're taking this list and splicing out the first one of the list and setting that as CMP1 after putting it in a set. And then doing the same with the second and third. Remember, uh, Python is zero index based. So that's why the first item uh, is zero, and then the second item is one, and the third item is th two, et cetera. And then there's a variable that's created called res s, and in that we're doing some uh, set mathematics here. So you can see in this first one here, we're looking at what's common between uh, this first set and the second set. So that is what letters are common between both of those. So in this comp example, uh, so it would be C, because C is in both of those. O is in both of those. Uh, L is not, so it wouldn't be. Um, looks like M, P, A, and Y are also common to both of those. And then there's this pipe character, so that's an OR. So it's also looking for what is common between uh, company one and company three. And then there's another or, that, so it's looking at what's common between company two and company three. So if you put these all together, this is the set of letters that are common to at least two of these, and it could be common to all three as well. So since we want to get rid of the letters that are common to all three, we have to do this subtraction of Again, the, when you have all of these three and together, that means it's the letters that are common to all three of these. So that's subtracting out those. And then we're just left with, with the letters that are common to two of the companies. And then we just return. Uh, so we change this into a list, because right now it is a set. And then we sort that set, and, we, and then we change it back, change it into a list again. You can see that gives us the correct answer. So hopefully you guys are able to follow along with that and you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.